Good morning, chat. How are we doing? Let's go. Mickey with the 30 months of sub and Quixotic Fox 22 months of sub and Toby Hype subbing. L Kirby US. L Kirby S. 19 months of sub. How are y'all? How are y'all? How is everyone this morning? Just checking in. I'm a uh, I, this is one of those mornings where I smashed the buttons and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing yet. So good morning. I'm checking chat. How are y'all? It's raining in Washington. It's windy here. I have the uh, windows open because uh, it's nice and beautiful and cool and stuff. Uh, my Prime is available tomorrow. I'm going to need a Brad bonus stream. Nice. Speaking of subs, gifted subs are like 25% off or something. Is that why y'all went ham yesterday? That was awesome. Thank you so much. Good morning from still windy and wet central Florida. Has the worst passed you, Sister T, or no? I am not in the path. I am outside. It's actually going to go further east than me. So we're just going to get wind, um, which actually you can hear it blowing. It's completely sunny, but you might hear the trees rustling behind me. Cool down here in Atlanta? Yeah, so I have on uh, long pants today and windows open. Grateful the sun is out in South Florida. Nice, nice. Yeah, hope hope everyone um, is doing well. I checked in with some of my friends down there last night, and uh, you know, so far so good. You know, and but there's some there's some bad stuff out there. If y'all saw the picture, so I hope uh, no one is really uh, really too affected by this, and uh, hopefully they bounce back quickly. Bork Ben Bork, thirty four months of sub, and let's go. Since I turn off your cheers. Made it through Hurricane Ian here in Orlando, so I'll have power to watch you. Nice. So, good. Then we're past Orlando, mostly. I haven't checked the radar this morning, but I know it's about to come up the Georgia coast. Georgia and South Carolina coast. I have lots of friends and family um, in in these coastal areas from from North Florida to South to North Carolina. Pretty much that whole run of Georgia and South Carolina. So, hopefully everyone's doing well. All the worst has passed through. We got 30 mile an hour winds with 60 mile an hour gusts, but even that is slowing down. Good, good, good. All is well in Central Florida. Nice, nice. Oh, this is good. Very good. Still windy and rainy, but that's just Florida. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So hopefully, hopefully it continues uh, to be good news for everybody. So that's very, very cool. Along with being a pen hoarder, I'm also a sticky note hoarder. Do you have a favorite sticky note? Do you? Have, and part two, do you have a fountain pen friendly sticky note? We're always looking for fountain pen friendly sticky notes. That's a rare, rare occurrence. Besides, like Midori does a pretty good job. <clears throat> so we got a fun stream plan for today. I got a new pen. Shocking. This is just what I need. Just what Brad needs is more pens without selling the pens that he keeps saying he's gonna sell. We're gonna open that up. Nanami made fountain pen friendly sticky notes. Did they really? Did they really? Dormouse desk with the five months of sub and check this out. I just put that sticker on my pad this morning. So I got lots of cool stickers on my notepad this morning. Thank you to Dormouse desk. Hope you're doing well. Whoops, wrong button. Also wrong button and right button. Oh, and not right button. Mm. Forecast is straight over to North Carolina tomorrow if it makes landfall. Yeah, for sure. So I hope all all my uh, hope all my my this storm is not over. So hopefully it uh, uh, hopefully it takes care of everyone. You okay, Toby? Toby's good. Hey, I take offense to your podcast. I draw circles all the time. What did I say? Uh oh. My faves are the translucent ones from Office Depot. I've heard about those. I have not seen those. What's up, Inky Gnome? Glad you made a live one. Isn't that a good sticker? I'll show you all the stuff. I was, I figure I have so many stickers. Like I got to put my most recent stickers on here. Is the new pen from Bungu Box. It is. It's magically right there in the title. Definitely supposed to get some good rain here in the mountains of North Carolina. Good. Oh, the iris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, I know you were joking, but I couldn't remember what the context was context was but it's like <laughs> that product's funny Anna did a review on that I think it, it did not go so well for her I believe <laughs> oh the iris
coronavirus. We're expecting to see Ian Fem effects tomorrow through the weekend. Yeah, it's just going to keep crashing up the coast. Um, so, yeah, hopefully everyone stays prepared and pays attention to what they need to do. So, And uh, no more damage, just get a little bit of rain. So, yeah, I started – I figured this is a good place to put stickers, right, like on my – desk pad the indiana youth group was that was who the we, we did the uh the panatic pride uh buttons for uh proud panatic buttons for they sent me a thank you note and a big old sticker there and then i just grabbed like the, my most recent stickers um from uh miss g's crafties from dormouse desk from flex pen the paper so i just gotta grab some more stickers and just put them on here i think the nature the nature of circle drawing tools is problematic it seems extreme i like it they're great for college books, the translucent ones. I need to go make, I need to make a, an office supply store run just to see what else is out there. Thank you, Borkman Bork. Because I need to update the top five pins on the store shelf. And like, I see them at the grocery store and it's like all the pins that I would like to, to have, but I want to see like what else is out there. So let's see what this is. Ends high grade sticky notes. Not available. Ooh, they have pink ones, though. Sometimes you want to write yourself a reminder, but find that most sticky notes sold by the local big box stores are scratchy, low quality, and can't handle specialty inks like those using fountain pens without bleeding and feathering. There's no fun in reading sloppy notes, even less in writing them. Neither is necessary when high-grade pads like these exist. Please see the pics for a stark comparison of these notes with regular 3M post-it notes. Let's, let's see your pics, Nanami. If... If that is really your name. All right. We can't get these much bigger. <laughs> Any thoughts on the new Sterling Ink Planner? I have not seen that. If you want to throw me a link, I will take a look. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Truly yours. That's great. I don't know what pen or ink they're using. Okay. That looks good. There's actual shading and like pooling of the ink to where it doesn't look like it feathered. That's the back side, butamus. Wow, okay. Versus 3M there, so front side. 3M posted. All right, winning. There's some winning. Good morning, OSU. Look at that. OSU found a portal at the uh, Dallas Penn Show. Did you get to travel anywhere? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. All right, very pretty. Oh, 3M, yeah, dunk on you. There's the difference. <laughs> I told you the pen, you did. As soon as uh, I got offline yesterday, off stream, I got the text from DHL's like, hey, it's coming today. So what they did, it says, hey, it's gonna be delivered today and then said estimated delivery date October 1st in the same sentence. <laughs> All right, so we will uh, we will have to check these out once they uh, get back in stock, which could be never. Could be now. The Armand Portal lives. Pretty sure it was also Crazy Allen. Nice. Yours did that too, Tasty Treat. Yeah, seemed to be a, a recurring theme. All right, let me pull up this. Let me pull up this planner link. See if I can. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't want to get dinged I on the. Think we should. All right, I'm gonna save that for later. Do they have a shop link to this? Hang on. Sterlinginc.com. Let me open this up. Do they have... Oh, wow, this is... All right, let me show you this real quick. I haven't seen this site before. Where is the ink? This stuff looks cool. Mm, 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 mm. Trying to see if I can get it. So it's a pre-order. It's a video. I'll have to watch the video. I've seen if they had like um, static images. It doesn't look like it. All right. I'm going to save this though. I'm going to look at this afterwards. If you've been waiting for those sticky notes to come in for over two years. It's kind of like uh, Hippo Noto, right? I considered the Sterling Ink Planner instead of Hobonichi. but went with the Hobonichi. Yeah, I need to take a look at, I will watch the video uh, after the stream. And how long is this video? Political 
Uh, oh yeah, the video is forty eight minutes long. We're not gonna do a, we're not gonna do a watch along. We could do some watch alongs here one day. Good morning, Alan. Good morning. Almost three years. Yeah. So maybe those maybe we, that looks like a that those sticky notes look like a brand name though, like just an imported thing. So maybe we can find a source for them. Good morning, Boo You. So. Um, okay, we're going to do, we're going to unbox my, my Bungu box pen, but first I have a question for y'all. So let's, let's use our brains for a minute. <laughs> Very risky proposition around here. I promise you that. And good morning, Murdoch. How are you? Hope you're doing awesome. Let's pick out, or let's get some ideas for Sarah's Nano Rimo pen. So check out this post if you haven't seen it yet this morning. Um, Sarah put up a blog post asking for recommendations instead of using all kinds of different pens for Nano Rimo. So Sarah like really like hammers out Nano Rimo like efficiently. This year. She wants to use a single pen to accomplish the task. The first comment in the thread on the post was a shown design ultim. I think that's something to think about. So as long as I can get this pen and it's like reasonably priced, we're not doing like the Mont Blanc, you know, Alfred Hitchcock or whatever, one of those type of deals. <laughs> as long as it's like a reasonable human being pen, <laughs> Um, we need to see if maybe we can um, get this pen sponsored for the month of November. Um, I don't know that Sarah's never shown an interest in the 823. Have, do you, are, you, are you interested in the 823? But I thought the Ultim was an interesting one for sure. Look at this. Oh, sorry. I'm showing you this. You can't someone see. Look at this. This is what she does to me, chat. Look at what she does. Somehow she's still my friend. And I allow her to write for the blog. What are you doing? Pretty good off work. My friends in Florida are safe. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. What are we doing here? You're fired. I, Evan, I just sent her a Gravitas Delrin to uh, think about. So what are we thinking? So the first, the first reply, the first comment uh, was an Opus 88 Halo or a Shown Design Ultim. The beating shall commence, right? Oh, you know I was going to put that in there. Uh, an Aurora 88, yeah. Edison Beaumont eyedropper. Sorry, I'm just looking at these. Edison Beaumont. Edison Beaumont eyedropper. That's not bad. Gray Web! Nine months of subbing. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Um, and the Edison's eyedropper very well. I'm writing a couple of these down. So what other what other pins are y'all thinking of? Oh, the uh, I legit gasp when I opened that post earlier. Nice, Aurora eighty eight. What type of uh, what type of nib are you looking for? 
Conehead king size with a sailor king pen nib. Nice. <laughs> no. Um, would Leonardo sponsor with a MZG? Maybe. I could get that. I could pull that off pretty easily. What type of nib size are you thinking, Sarah? So I just need to write these uh, down. Because I need to come to a conclusion like early next week so I can uh, I drippered. I like that. Y'all hear the wind? I have the windows open. Can y'all hear the wind? And we're sure that dip pens are totally out of the question. I'm fairly certain that dip pens are totally out of the question. We're not Toby. I know. Sorry. Write the novel with nothing but the Kakamori nib. Wow. Y'all are evil. In the best way. And I mean that possible. I mean, Sarah does write horror stories. That sounds like a horror story. Just like waiting to happen. Where is my... Sorry, Chad. It bothers me if I don't have my... Oh, Bit Crystal, right. Probably a fine nib. Okay, so pretty much anything would work. Drill Log. Oh, my God. I once wrote a series of eight stories with a dip pen. No thanks. All right, so that's some good ideas. Twisby Eco has a nice high capacity. I think Sarah has a bunch of Twisby Ecos. I think it was a reviewed them. So we're going to try to pick something new. Um, I don't know what you think about the Ultim, Sarah. That's one to think about. Because I know Ian would definitely participate in this. I don't know. All these are good. So my list so far is an Opus 88 Halo, Shown Design Ultim. Edison Beaumont Eyedropper, Aurora 88, Memento Zero Grande, and a Franklin Christoph 45. Aurora, <coughs> excuse me, Aurora's Intriguing or Leonardo, as I haven't used many of those before. Are you good? You're good with the bigger pens too, right? Like the Memento Zero Grande is a little bit larger. But like you have those Gravitas pens that are pretty large. Switching and refilling ink is a factor you plan to use the same ink. I'm okay with a pig pen. That's a cool spell check. Long okay with a big pen as long as it's light. <laughs> Love my show Nolton, but wish it had a clip. The plotter thickens. That's hilarious. <clears throat> oh, you have a peak already. Okay, well, let's not do that. Well, get pilot to sponsor an emperor of vermilion. Good grief. Aurora above Leonardo. Yeah. And plus, I could get something. I could hopefully get Kenro involved. <laughs> Hmm, these are great ideas. Eyedroppered Preppy. That's actually pretty smart, Sage Plant. Like that's one part joke and one part genius. <laughs> Esterbrook Oversize. Have you ever done an Esterbrook? What do you think about the size of the big Esterbrooks? Sailor Rialo? That's not a bad idea. I don't know that I... Is Sailor making any new Rialos? Sailor King of Pen. Person, I think it needs an ink window, a summary to easily see the ink level because if you're whiting away from the house, you want to know if you're running low at a glance before you. Yeah. Aurora's, do the Aurora's 88 have an ink window? They do, don't they? 
Gravitas Ultim. I just sent Sarah a Gravitas Delrin. Sorry, this is this is the Brad's thinking face where I just keep repeating things. Essies have gotten expensive though. Yeah, the standard ones are okay, but pretty much everything's a special edition these days. The new Memento Zero Grande has two ink windows. That's a good that's a good point. Yeah, the Memento Zero Grandes do have an ink window. Those are the two I have starred so far. Aurora 88, Memento Zero Grande. Plus, I think I can get those. I think I have access to those. Narwhal Nautilus. Uh, Sarah has a bunch of narwhals already. That's why I sent this last one to Jeff. Are you going to be switching inks? I have not unleashed the Fujiyama yesterday. We're, we're doing a, a little little pen writing exercise real quick 20 v pens would get the job done dang zane's dad that's the best answer with sarah we're gonna get you a box of pilot v pens <laughs> the 45 eyedropper i did write that down chatterley here has a few of their turn 88s left let me look what I'll probably do is probably reach out to Kenro. See what they have for a loan. I am going to write that down, though. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sub Aquatic Toaster, for putting those uh, that clip information there. <clears throat> I do like that 45. <laughs> Issue with 45 of the threads? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't seen this before. Can I get a bigger picture? No. Can't get a bigger picture. It's a cool call. Oh, it comes that uh, has all black, has rhodium, and has gold. Interesting. <laughs> Get a cartridge system V pin and like 500 Arishizuku cards. Hilarious. Are cartridge V pins a thing? So, Pilot actually makes it's not the V pin. Uh, what do they call it? Um, they made one with the. Um, the V5 and the V7 style, the precise, they made a refillable one, but they're hard to find. <sighs> tech point, thank you. High, I think it was called the Pilot High Tech Point. And it's a refillable, like Pilot Precise style of pen. <sighs> V7 High Tech Point, yep. So if you search those, they're pretty inexpensive, and they will fit the pilot cartridges, and they're the needle tip, and they work. They work great. They're really nice. But I think, like, I've only seen them like on Amazon now. I think. So, okay. I think we have a pretty good, pretty good start here. So I need to think about this a little bit. <laughs> There's still some on eBay. Gotcha. I think they're worth they're they're worth picking up if you like that style of pen. They're one of the best like traditional pens that use a, a rollerball ink. Y'all hear me writing? This, I, this is like the sharpest architect I've ever used. Uh, JC, uh, the nib tailor, did this one. It's really nice. It is crispy. I got to go slow with it, though, if I want my handwriting to really show off. I'll show you all that later. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a giveaway right now, and then we're going to unbox the Bungu box. Uh, that is not going to be a giveaway. <laughs> I mean, I like y'all, just not that much. All right. So let's do, <laughs> let's do a giveaway. And uh, and then we'll see about ink and, and opening this box. How about a Lamy 2000 has an ink window? I don't know that you've ever, Sarah's ever mentioned like the Lamy's. All right, what do we got? We have something interesting. 
we're, I'm getting to see the bottom of the shelf in the uh, um, Icebox of Happiness. It's due for a big restocking. All right, here we go. All right, this is a combo meal. Nemocene nib after the 823. I did ink it up yesterday. It's good. It's a little, the nib does slide a little bit out. Like I can remove it really easily, but it's it's very good. Yeah, I can do a, I can show a writing sample. My boyfriend is taking the plunge and going to Japan for a couple weeks when they open fully in October. Nice, nice. All right, so we have a combo pack here. Will this work together? Let's Let's find out. Hey, look, it's the link I saved. All right, so we have the Twisby ink. What color is this? This is the navy. This is like the blue black. Oh, that's not even opened yet. So we have the Twisby ink. Then we have a Twisby ink bottle. Good morning, Namiki Winterblad. So then we have a Twisby ink bottle. But what is this good for? Is this only good for certain pens? How does this work? confused here I have no idea how this works bottles designed for the vac oh. well hopefully you have a Twisby vac or you're interested in buying a Twisby vac, vac. <laughs> so we'll do Twisby ink and Twisby ink bottle or you could just have a cool ink bottle alright you can take the whole shebang off the top and use it as a normal bottle. Yeah, it looked like it could be used as a normal bottle if you take out the little uh, insert piece. Mm. All right, let's do a giveaway. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, all the hobbies. Let's see, giveaway button is here. Need vac bottle, please, bot. Nice. Let's be ink set. Open. All right. That is open. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. I ship worldwide. Anyone can win. Let's see if I got any more stickers to put on my notebook. Oh, duh. Can I have a sticker? I got a couple more stickers to throw in here. I should join the giveaway for the things I sent back to you that I already have. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have checked this most recent one. Do you have that fountain pen tester paper? It's like version seven. Did you get that tester set already? I thought about that when I was uh, when I was sending it. You did? Dang it. Well, now you just got to have to re re review, it, review it twice. I'm sure Taizo probably doesn't appreciate me, appreciate me covering up all of his, his handy cover work, but I got stickers to use. Thankfully, you sent me the bun box inks that I didn't have. Nice. And you can review that Robert Oster ink too, even though it's a special thing. I don't care. We, we've done that before, where we've inter reviewed exclusive inks that people couldn't get anymore. It's always fun when we make people mad. Oh, good. I'm not the only one that struggles to take the back off the pen attic sticker. Can we get a ban for Tess in the chat? Ban. For like five minutes talking poorly about the pen attic stickers. They actually instantly sold the bottles they set aside for me. Way to go. 
On a tangent, I've decided that the German short hair porn and puppies have to be the most energetic thing ever. <laughs> Potter sheets, yeah, potter sheets are gonna, they're sitting in the stash that goes out to the uh, to the shipping department. All right, let's give this away. Is this done? All right, pick a winner. Let's go. Neon Clear Penguin, what a name. That name rules, chat. That name rules. First time winner because I would remember that name if you had won before. Neon Clear Penguin, you won. Is that an April alt? It could be. Is that is that is just so I don't talk bad about Potter if April's here? Neon clear. Yeah, you win. So what you have to do is you have to email me your shipping address to hello at pinatic.com. And then tell me you won the Twisby Inc. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Neon clear penguin. That sounds like a, a Franklin Kristoff acrylic color. I'm gonna need them to work on that. All right, there we go. Neon clear penguin, that's you, that's you. All right. Let's do an unboxing chat. Where did you get the corgis? Uh, jet pins. All right. We got the magic box yesterday. So people make fun of me that I'm able to hold hold off um, opening boxes until like the next day or something. I held off on opening this little uh, spoke design knife we're monkeying around with just to see if it's any good. It's a little, it's a little baby kind of box cutter knife. It's really cute. So I just opened that too. It's a, yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's not like a custom made knife or anything. It's just a cool little accessory thing. I, I don't really have the details. We're just playing around with it. So it's a little bitty. It's got the spoke logo on there. It's like a little like box cutter poker style thing there, uh, frame lock. So yeah, it's, it's small. Here's it compared. I'll show it to you in a second. Here's it compared to a Kaveco Sport. It's tiny. I like it. All right. Are these pins numbered? I mean, I know there was only a limited amount, but do they have numbers on them? Okay, but when can we get one? Not sure yet. I'm waiting on the pricing. Soon, probably. Did you get to see the pin in San Fran or did you just hold the box? I got to see the pin. I got to see the pin in person. Yeah, that was my reaction in person. Not numbered. I didn't think so. I didn't think they were numbered. I mean, I knew they were a numbered quantity, but not numbered on the barrels. All right. So let me uh, swap this over here. Put that there. Let me look at my paperwork real quick. Thank you very much for purchasing from us. We hope we've fulfilled your every expectation. We're looking forward to serving you in the near future. Regards, Bungu Box, Fujiyama Blue. This does look like Fujiyama Blue color. When does the purple spoke design knife come out? Nice. Um, if you need to, who's, um, whose partner's going to Japan, if you need directions to Bungu Box, they are included here. This is killing me because I missed out. It fits exactly the bill of a knife I'm looking to buy. Look how small it is. Super small. All right. 
payment details, a lot of yen. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Nib size medium. All right. Let's stash all this back in here, chat. It is so petite. I like it. I like the size. All right, that is trash. Dayro with the four months of sub in. Let's go. The box is fantastic. Everything about this is fantastic. Can y'all hear the wind? You hadn't missed much, Rup. We're unboxing the Fujiyama Blue now. And uh, before, we were talking about pens uh, for NaNoWriMo. <laughs> So, Fujiyama Blue, really uh, custom box art, right? So, it's got the little Bunga Box logo here, Mount Fuji, beautiful colors. Um, yeah, pretty great. Standard uh, pilot box. You now have to sell another pin. I will not be selling the Namiki. I will be organizing my pins for sale this week. That's the back side? Or is that the front side? That's the front side. Yo. <laughs> Even though I've seen this, it's still pretty exciting. That just made me smile a lot. Uh, all right, here's the card. Mount Fuji, one of the most famous natural symbols of Japan. Its beautiful blue color changes with every angle of the sun. It's a blue full of hope. In celebration of our 10th anniversary, we have tried to capture this beauty in a Pilot Custom 823 Fujiyama Blue. We deliver to you this beautiful blue of hope. Super pretty. Good grief. You can just sell me that right turns. I kind of like that like right turns. Stickers coming immediately off chat. Bonus for the 823, I am going to fill it now. Yes, we're going to fill it now. Can anyone guess what ink I'm filling it with? So this is the 823. Um, it comes with not one but two stickers that we'll be removing momentarily. So I got a medium nib. And it's got the Bungu Box stamping on the nib. Medium 14K. God, that looks nice, doesn't it? I went with Robert Oster Carbon Fire, Lamy Pacific, Yamadori, Hypnotic Turquoise. Um, yeah, the colors, like, I don't know that I could have done it better myself, right? What a chick with the seven months of subbing. Let's go. So they did, when I was talking to uh, Karu and Bruce, um, they discussed how, hang on. No, it's not a yellow nib. It's just, yeah, probably just the lighting. It's all silver trim. Um, I was talking to them, and they were able to get the interior um, sleeve, like the, the seal, to match the color. So when you put it together here, it all lines up. So the whole interior is the whole, all the same color. Bullseye with the four months of seven. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So normally, that's just like a clear... Uh, plastic, um, but they got it so the colors would actually ma match up. And then we also have little Mount Fuji here on the cap band, Fujiyama Blue, Bungu Box, 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary. Could use a cool gray, gray like a Fuyu Soyu Gun. Uh, Fuyu Soyu Gun is one of my least favorite inks, if you can believe that. <laughs> I hope they do more rhodium number 15s. Yeah. I'm so sad because my 823 I just bought is terrible. How is an 823 terrible? Like, functionally? God, this feels so good. I keep seeing that pin on Instagram. Yeah, this is a super Instagrammable pin. Ink Studio 441. No one's, no one's nailed it yet. Is 
since A23 doesn't have an EF nib, usually I'll be going for the 743. So this one did have an EF option. I passed on that. Robert Oster Carbon Fire. Also another good choice. I do put the stickers on the little packaging though when I take them off instead of throw them away. That's just one of my weird things. Is that the Yoseka ink from the other day? No, but that's a good choice. I did ink that up in that um, Tesori over there. Appetite. Put the Fujiyama Blue in mine. Toasty Treat wins. Toasty Treat wins. Come on, chat. Step your game up. My first fill has to be Fujiyama Blue. After that, I'm probably going to go to a traditional blue-black. Thank you, Angry Less. You win a not Bungu Box. You win the sticker from the Bungu Box 823. You're going to have a second one. So yeah, there is a matching ink, um, and I have it because I'll show you why. So I think, um, Darrow, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put Waterman Mysterious Blue in this permanently will be my one. Fuji Water Blue Black, I'm surprised someone didn't guess that first. Probably not. I'm just going to keep that in there. Yeah, matchy matchy for the first fill. And this is why, chat. So, so this was the second run of the Pro Gear Fujiyama Blue. Monado, welcome, welcome to welcome to the Pen Attic stream, and welcome to the community. The Kakuno is an awesome pen. Do you have a recommendations for an ink? You are wide open there for under thirty dollars. If you want a bottle of ink, anything Orochizuku Pilot Orochizuku would be a great choice for the Kakuno. I was gonna say Waterman Mysterious Blue would be perfect, yeah. So there's the Mount Fuji Sailor. And at the time, Alv Marty with the gifted sub, thank you so much. Thank you so much, I really, really appreciate that. So this is the Fujiyama Blue um, that I bought at the time I got the Sailor. I need some more fall inks. Can't do these light blues. I can't do like a fall ink in this pen. I don't, would throw me. Like I couldn't do orange or brown or purple in here. So my other 823 I use purple in. So I think I'm gonna go with, um, like a, I'm gonna go with a blue black in here permanently. But um, I'm gonna go um, Fujiyama blue for the first fill. And I know I opened this box wrong, but whatever. I don't care. It's already been opened this way. It's supposed to have this little shoe thing here. All right. So if you aren't familiar with the 823, one of the reasons why I and others like it so much, it's, it's a large pen. It's well balanced and has a huge ink capacity. And it's a vacuum filler. Right. So we're just going to unscrew this here and you pull it back like this and you put it in the bottle which I'll do in just a second and then you just snap this down and the ink goes it'll probably get like half a fill you can do it like twice and get like seven eighths of a fill I'm not too worried about getting a perfect fill um, because I'm eventually going to go with a different um, with a different ink um, so like a half a fill of this is more than any converter is going to give me. So uh, you can see the translucency here now that I have the white behind there. I keep it at half because I changed inks too much. Yeah, for sure. You discovered last night on stream that's a vac. You didn't know that the 820, this was a vac. Or are we talking about something else? So, all right. So it is a, it does seem a little bit unwieldy to like, to ink this up. But once you do it, you get uh be careful with the first fill from that bottle. I've filled it, I've used this sink like twice maybe. Not rinsing the nib, that's never been my go-to move. Should I? Never use an A23 because the colors are all boring, true. Should I go rinse the nib off first? That's usually not my move. I just go for it, just go for it. I, this paper towel is a little bit wet because I am gonna, oh, I, I did get a wet paper towel because I do like to wipe off the section afterwards. Sitting at $9.99, ink's going to hit $1K at the show, deciding what to go for. 
That's a tough, that's a tough sell. Monado, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Manufacturing oils. Yeah, I get it. I wiped it off. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we're going for it. So we'll see how much it fills. What are y'all thinking about half? Now y'all got me, now y'all got me sweating the nib. All right, we're just going to do this. All right, so we're going to put that in. You put it right past the grip section. We snap it down. One snap. So a little bit more than a half fill, right? So you can see how much ink it just put in there. Oh, and look how the ink pools around the little Bungu Box logo. That's funny. It attached onto the logo. All right, so we're going to seal this up. And we're going to close this bottle. And then we're going to wipe this off. I just like to get around the grip section because I don't like um, stray ink. I don't mind getting inky fingers, but I want to know where it comes from, right? Yeah, I, I'll rinse it the second time if I feel like I didn't, if it needed it. Um, if I bought a pen secondhand, I would thoroughly clean it beforehand. Absolutely. All right, so hang on one second. Why does everyone, they're easy to clean, they just take a long time to clean, I think. And like for someone who, um, who doesn't like to see like the water droplets in there, right? It doesn't, um, it doesn't dry out like quickly. So it's just a little bit of an, it takes 823 plunges to rinse. That is actually the reason why they named it 823 but you can see the ink sloshing around there. So I was right. I got about exactly half. If, if I wanted to, and if I really wanted to fill this ink, so I would plunge it once, expel the ink without removing it, and plunge it again in the same bottle, do like a two-step, and it would fill up pretty much all the way to about right here if you did a second... Um, I did a second fill. I commit to one color for every 823. Yeah, so my other one I've committed to Ido Murasaki, which is a purple. This one I am going to commit to a blue-black, and it's probably mysterious blue, but we'll see to be determined. The water droplets are harmless. They are absolutely harmless except to my psyche. So I am not discounting the fact that they are harmless. I'm discount. I am telling you they annoy me. <laughs> Does the 823 grip section unscrew? It does not. You can pull the nib from the front end, but the section does not unscrew. You take it apart occasionally. I mean, at some point, my other one, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re-lubricate the piston, right? Because you're cleaning it so much, you end up losing some of that seal right there. Water droplets, can't they dilute ink? Yes, but it is such a minor scale, it does not phase it right? It's not like there's a lot of water, right? It's such a small percentage that it doesn't affect it. But if you add water, like purposely to dilute it, yeah, you can absolutely do it. So the water droplets are generally harmless. All right, let's put this box back. So, so um, Fujiyama Blue is a light blue ink. Um, I enjoy using it a lot. And um, I will get tired of it eventually, so I will go to a blue-black ink. For cleaning the 823, do you just fill and dump repeatedly? Yes. Repeatedly. All caps. This nib feels great. Yay. If I had an extra fine nib in this, I wouldn't have even, um, I wouldn't have even considered putting in this ink color. This ink color needs a wider, uh, wider nib because it's so light. Vim Surf, thank you for the follow, appreciate you. 
a full fill of Fumi Fujiyama Blue would drive me nuts. It's pretty, but yeah. Like, I can only take so much of Fujiyama Blue. Like, I really love using it, and I will use it a bunch right until I don't. <laughs> right until I say, it's time for a blue-black ink. I notice the pilot branding isn't on the clip. True. No clip stamping. So normally there's a vertical pilot there or sometimes a vertical Namiki there. Um, but they did a lot on the cap band here. So I'll give you a better close-up of this ink in just a second. So like with an extra fine or a fine nib, I would not have used this ink from the jump. But since it's a medium, I'm okay using this. So this will be a, an occasional use ink. But I bought it with my Sailor. Nice that it isn't gold furniture for this one. Yeah, this one will look good in gold though too. Like I would have been down with that. Enjoying the comfy mood here and only have a Lamy Safari, but I'm really enjoying writing cursive and learning more about different inks. Wonderful Vim Surf, you are in the right place. We just chill and talk about pens, like literally. That's what we do. So you are in the right place. Your Lamy Safari is awesome. We're all a huge, huge fan of the Lamy Safari, most of us anyway. So yeah, glad you're here. Does it have a stamp on the top of the clip for the machine or whatever? Like, would it be up here? There's no stamp up, up at the very top, like across? No, I don't see any stamping. I don't see anything, Alan. All right, so this is the Fujiyama Blue. So you can see how light it is. It dries a lot, pretty light. One good thing is it's a little bit darker when it's wetter, right? So you can see it as you're writing. It does dry pretty light. No pilot branding at all. Sure isn't. Yeah, it's not even on the cap, not even a logo. I mean, on the cap band. I thought it might say pilot 823 on there, but it doesn't. This ink isn't for me, but it does match so well. Yeah, so this ink was made for a different project that they did, the Sailor Fujiyama Blue. And I'm going to use it for this first fill in honor of that. This is why you leave the stickers on. Can we get a ban for Toasty Treat, please? Ban. You don't think Fujiyama is that light? I mean, it's it's so this is Mont Blanc Petrol Blue, which is like a medium blue ink. I just wouldn't use it in a finer nib. And actually, coming through the screen here, it's actually darker to me in person here. Let me see if, you know, the lighting has a especially hard time with the, uh, the lighter colors. So let's see. So you can see it's a little bit darker here. So yeah, I will use this. I'm glad I didn't fill it more than halfway. We'll see how how long I can use it for with this. It'll take a it'll take a while, but like I'm good with that. This is a long term long term usage pen. That light made it look green to me. It does have a it does have a bit of a green tint. Is mysterious blue really a blue black? I call it blue black. Yeah. Brad, I use a pen for the entire year in my Sumlines journal. This year, I designated my spoke icon. I have to report after nine months of daily use. It's perfect. Nice. Oh, thank you so much. What? Which ink? Does that have the document brown? One of these are in the St. Jude raffle. Yes, I have not done the drawing yet. I haven't done any drawings yet, so probably today and tomorrow. Probably tomorrow I'll do the drawings. 
I'll probably use a quarter fill on mine before dumping and changing inks. Might do a dip with the MF to see if it's the right color. Like, it's an awesome, it's an awesome color. I don't want to use this color all the time, right? Especially in this pen. I will, I'm, this is 100% going to be a blue black ink pen for me. Like, I wouldn't even use like the turquoise or teals. I think that would be too matchy matchy. I think having the darker blue black would be really good. We should do a poll to see how long it takes Brad to wash that pen open, put the blue black in it. Can we get another band for Tess uh, for being a smart aleck? <laughs> and being, can we get a band for Tess for being right? Um, you know, I don't, I don't like it when people are right. I'm being seen today. I feel like I'm being seen. I mean, Fujiyama blue ink and the Fujiyama blue pen, it doesn't get more matchy matchy than that, right? But I think turquoise or like Konpeki and those sky highs, those wouldn't work for me in this. Do drawings live on Twitch, but only announce the winners if they are here in chat. Otherwise, just email them quietly. I thought about that. I thought about that. And just doing like a silent thing, unless you knew you were, unless I knew they were here, I would put, uh, I put Konpeki in mind. Yeah, like I'm down with that. Like that's, that's at the top of my list. I'm just going to go with a blue black first. This is my Konpeki for this, you know, the lighter, lighter ink. So I don't think I have a pilot medium nib. Shinkai would be, I'm trying not to use Shinkai for me. Because that's the obvious one. My favorite blue black is Shinkai. Because I use it so much, that's kind of like the the ideal. But I used Shinkai in my other 823 up until I got the Ito Murasaki, the 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 purple. All of chat has been bant. Konpeki is several shades darker. Oh, absolutely. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I have a. I'm enjoying this medium nib because I don't think I have one. It's windy outside. Mysterious blue has a nice teal overtone to it. It's picking up chat. Yeah. So Shinkai. I'm just trying to find a, something uh, different than Shinkai because that is the obvious choice. I think 4B, I love 4B. It's a little dark. Imagine how nice it would be with an ebonite feed. Is it funny that I don't like to mess with like the more expensive pens? Like I don't like, like I'm not going to fidget with this. I was like, I'm good. I'm good with this. But like if I got a 912 with an FA nib, I might buy an ebonite feed for. Does that make sense? Does that make me weird? I did not hear the wind before. It sounds like static now. Yeah. I like how dry the 823 writes. Yeah, that's never been a thought of mine with the, with the 823. Sukio would be a good match, but I use... So I have two very specific inks for very specific pens, and they're both Pilots, and they're both Iroshizuku inks. My clear 823 gets Iroshizuku Ito Murasaki, which is a purple, and then my Namiki Milky Way gets Sukio, Iroshizuku Sukio. Pilot Blue Black is great. Pilot Blue Black would be an easy choice for this, too. We are not in the path of the hurricane. We're going to be further west, um, but like a couple hours from like the edge of the stuff that's hitting on the coast. 912 with the FA is the only bad experience I've ever had with a pilot. Uh-oh. Sukiyo is the goat. I, I don't disagree with that. It makes sense to me. My first couple of grinds were in my more expensive pens, then I realized that it's better to leave those being get grinds on cheap steel nibs. <clears throat> Dump your Sukiyo carts into the 823. This would take all six carts. That would be a $12 fill, 04A. <laughs> that would be a $12 fill. <clears throat> Portland Rain. I haven't seen that. That sounds pretty, though. My FA nib was really frustrating until I got the Ebonite feed. So it sounds like I'm one in the same, huh? Naper Villain, what's up? 22 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Let's go. I think I sent your pin last week, or did I send it Monday? You won something last week. I don't know if it arrived yet. It's like a purple gray. I could be down with that. 
How bad would it be if I pulled the nib on an 823? I don't... I'll let someone else answer. I think not bad. But it's like, it's one of those that sometimes it's really tough. It's not an easy pull, generally speaking. Pilot... Kelly's awesome. Kelly rules. I haven't listened to the uh, to the San Francisco recap. That's in my queue of the Stationery Cafe. All right, chat. Um, Y'all wanted to see the. It now costs twelve dollars a pillow. That's uh, that's that's this person's fault. Y'all wanted to see the. Oh boy, what's that ink color? It's not in this room. All right, you want to see this one? Scared to swap my 823 nib in the 743. I'm not scared necessarily. I'm a little tentative. I'm a little tentative. All right, what ink is this I got yesterday from um, Yoseka, the bright blue one? So it's not this one. This is the Ching Purple. And then it, what was the other one I got? It's not in here, so I can't tell you. So we added the Nemocene Ming Blue. Yes, thank you. We added the Nemocene six millimeter stub nib to the Tesori pen and inked it with the Yoseka, what is it, Ink Institute Ming Blue. Thank you. Um, and it's a really bright blue. It's great. This is in your like your con pecky sky blue range. This nib is awesome. It's even a little wider than I thought it would be. I thought it might be slightly slightly narrower. Compecky's still darker than this, though. I will say that. But this is the 6mm Nemocene nib in a Bach fitting. Yeah, these nibs are great. And they're pretty inexpensive. They and they fit uh, Bach fittings. How's the sheen? I was a little bit. I keep thinking it should have more sheen. To be perfectly honest. So I might have to test, I might have to try some different papers. This is the Sands and Tomoe River paper. It's got a little bit that you probably can't see when the ink went down the heaviest in this part up here. They do not fit in Yovo. That's what actually took me so long is to, to think about a Bach fitting. They do fit Yovo. I didn't think they fit Yovo. You put mine in Yovo with no issues? Huh. Thank you, Rewizzles. I thought it was Bach and they wouldn't fit in a Yovo. Otherwise, I would have had it inked up uh, earlier. I've had them crack Yovo housings. I will say, check this out. I will say, it's loose. It, do, it doesn't affect like the writing performance, but watch this. It is a loose nib in here. I can kind of pull it out pretty easily like that, right? So... something to think about but it doesn't affect it doesn't affect the writing i like it that it's it's very stiff it's a very stiff nib which i prefer barmanyham does sell them with housings now that might be worth it if you're uh tentative about it but i will review this nib um 
I'll probably just do a pen, nib, and ink combo review. Since I've already reviewed the pen, I haven't reviewed the ink or the nib, but I think this is a good setup here, so I'll just, uh, I'll just do this. Very happy with this ink, but yeah, um, let me check. Hey, Gray Foxhound, glad you made it. Let me check this uh, other. Let me get the paper sampler out. Do you color coordinate today? I did not, but it's not bad, right? It's a pretty good look. Look at that. No, I just wear a lot of blue. <laughs> <laughs> and have a lot, a lot of blue pens and a lot of blue inks. All the matching, right? All right, let's look at the old Tomoe River paper to see what the sheen is like. Hey, Bloomins. Look how good this nib is for my handwriting, though. Boy, the ride with the six months of subbing. Thank you so much. Oh. This is the, hang on. <clears throat> this is the Ink Institute. Like, that's how I want my handwriting to look all the time. <laughs> Plotter's a good Christmas present. They have some fifth anniversary stuff out, too. Let's see if we can take a second here. Yeah, we're going to do a close-up. So this is... It still doesn't sheen that much, which I'm okay with. My lighting seems a little bit off today, and I even adjust, I thought I adjusted the camera. Yeah, looks good. So that's that. I don't know, there's some lighting situations going on here. Oh, make me some temporally. So let's look at the Fujiyama blue here. This is Imperial Purple. And this is the difference between a 1.1 stub and a 0.6 stub up top. Carefully package a cup of coffee. Brad arrives empty cup packaging warm smoke. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be into that. 
And then this is this crispy, crispy AF architect. And this is That pen is a chunk. This is a little bit chunky. The uh, Skogsy pen. <laughs> My parents. So yeah, the um, there's not much more sheen on the uh, the Ming blue on the original Tomoe River than the new Sansin. If we were looking for like more red or something in that ink, it's really not. Even though those pictures do show a lot of red. You maybe get a hint of it, but really not a ton. I was hoping for more. I'd actually like to see more. Man, look how crispy that italic is. That thing is nuts. Those vertical lines are microscopic. It's very scalpel-y. What would the Fuji ink look like on plotter paper? Let's find out. Pretty sure I have it in here. I mean, if not, I'll just use my plotter, but I thought I had some in here. Yeah. All right, so this is the blank, blank plotter. Potter. They usually drop a, link, a lot of ink on the swatches. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not sure the Fuji works on more ivory paper. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher the more ivory the paper is. Great Fox Sound with the gifted subs. Where's your alerts? Come on. Come on. Yo, with the five gifted subs, Gray Fox Hound. Hope y'all enjoy the gifted subs. If you got a gifted subs from Gray Fox Hound, give them a shout out. Check out your new emotes. They're dope. And they're dope for you. Thank you so much. Didn't get any alerts, so you get a cheer from me. Let's go. Thank you, Gray Fox Hound. Appreciate you. I forgot, but which punch do you use for the Hannah Plana? I got the um, Staples Arc. The Staples Arc. So there's the Fujiyama Blue on the plotter paper and the Ink Institute Ming Blue, which looks great. I think both of these colors look fantastic. And the plotter paper does really, really well with the inks, right? This is one of the reasons why I like it so much. The Dakona Punch from Jet Pins works too. I haven't seen that. I'll have to look at that. Am I spelling? I feel like I'm spelling Fujiyama. Yeah, I left a Y out of Fujiyama. Fujiyama. All right, let's do a giveaway. I think we're gonna wrap it up, chat. I think we're gonna wrap it here today, unless y'all got any more questions. 
Toasty's video almost convinced me to try Plotter. Well, I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna try some of my, uh, the weekly stuff in mine. So we're gonna see how that goes. Let's do a giveaway. Let's drop that. Gray Fox Sound with the sub. Thank you so much, Gray Fox Sound. I really, really appreciate that. You rock. This is great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Plotters for all, right? Can we get an affiliate link for Plotter? Brad, have you seen the Conklin 125th anniversary no sack? It's boosted to have a reg revolutionary piston filler that refills with a single turn. Is this the one that costs over $1,000? If so, OSU sent me that last week, and I went... I had, I had eyes popping out of the head emoji. <laughs> my pod or Bible sizes that were taking my hope and each use, right? All right, let's do a giveaway while we, uh, while we think, think about this here. It's a pretty pin, but I don't know about a single turn fill. It's a lot of suction. It would have to be a lot of suction. <clears throat> All right, so we did, what did we do? The giveaway we just did? Ink. So we can do paper, we can do pen, we do like to mix it up. Here's an old one. Pinboy Roy and Tom ripped that on their most recent podcast episode. That that pin. That Conklin really sucks. I see what you did there. Um. How about a copper render K? Thank you all for GZ on my daughter. How about a copper render K? Let's do this. Let's look at this. I think this is a fountain pen. Brad, are you using your Kurotoga dive at all? Pretty rarely. I really, it's a little bit too big for me. I like, I, like I said, I like the idea of it, but it's just hard for me to reach for this when I have like something like this available. Like not to brag or anything, but like... It's cool. I, I, I like it. I heard that they're about to release more. Uh, so yeah, but like I reach for this like 10 times out of 10, right? So apparently I have a color theme going on here. Is it wider than the standard Kurotoga? By a lot. It is, is a very large, very large pencil. <laughs> the model four definitely wins. It's it's cool though. It's lightweight. Like I, I like it. I'm just not gonna choose it. Most of the time. It's cool. I'm glad I have it though. Something to mess around with. That's why I keep it on the desk. It's like cool to have around. Alright. This is what we're giving away. Yeah, my daughter was the reason for the gifted subs 21 days ago. Nice. Congratulations, Gray Fox Sound. That's amazing. That's super amazing. Capped pencil. Yeah, it's a really unique pencil. I did a review on the um, on the Panatic blog. You can check it out. It's It has a lot going on. Typical pencils are too narrow for me. Then this might be a contender. It's probably one of the wider mechanical pencils that I've used. Um, so... Is this going to be a regular pen or a fountain pen? And we're going to check this ahead of time because I really need to know. Ooh, fountain pen. Apparently I have a lot of uh, OG uh, Karis Customs pens. So let's give this one away. Clearly never been touched because this copper is not patinaed hardly at all. It'll have my fingerprints on it now. Pretty heavy. 
but not ridiculous. Like, it's heavy. Like, you will feel it. We can get out the scale. Is that the Schmidt or the Bach? This is the Schmidt. So this is an older one. Like, I must have had a old, really old batch from them, like, forever ago. All right. Let's do... Render K Copper. Federales in Mexico City Airport. I had a lot of questions about my Keras Customs pins. I get that. All right. Giveaway's open. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to live in the U.S. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber, a member. Two snaps up. All right, while you're while you're doing that, I'm gonna figure out this mess that I have going on here. We're gonna we're gonna sleeve up. We have some good pins inked up right now, chat. Do we need we need to go to a second. <laughs> we need a second uh, Sinclair. That's where we're at, chat. We need a second Sinclair for all the freshly inked pins. That goes here. That goes here. I always forget which direction, but that's the direction. That goes here. This goes here. Three snaps and a Z formation. You gotta be pretty old to know what the, the three snaps. You gotta be pretty old to know. Are you at double digits on the ink pens? Mm, no, but well, I mean, I'm right there. Eight or nine. One, two, three, four, nine. <laughs> Five in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I did have to think about it. I'm close. Um, oh, well, Lily put, Lily put 10. It's an old uh, in living color sketch with, uh, that was uh, David Allen Greer and uh, Damon Wayans doing, a, um, they were uh, like reviewers. And that was like their ranking system. It was great. I am really happy with my setup right now with all my ink pens. So we'll have to, uh, yeah, I have more that I want to get inked up and stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll maybe look at what all I have inked next week. But next week I hope to have all of my for sale pens pulled to get that going. Help, I'm left-handed. You are in the right place. What type of pens do you like to write with? You missed a giveaway, Glyph. Rip. If you're old enough for men on films references, you're probably old enough to be crushed by Coolio. I, yes, exactly. Same age, same same uh, realm. That was a surprise. That came out of nowhere. I couldn't remember men on films, though. Sale for members or anybody. Um, I launch when I sell my own pins. I uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. Uh, when I sell my own pins, I let members know first. So I give them the heads up first at the time and the date of release, because I try to give some good deals. Do you see the six pack Sinclair that Rinchestraw was trying out? Yes, that was uh, an original. Um, uh, ideal we talked about and yeah like go for it right i think it's a good good fit corinne b with the 37 months of sub and thank you so much i probably need that six pack where did the portal go away i can't stand that i can't stand that thing <laughs> confirm brad gives good deals yeah so it's a balance right it's a balance see like some pens that i don't use that have like super appreciated in value like i don't go into them buying thinking that but like I'm not going to sell my Conan for cheap, right? But I make up for it in other areas where I do sell things for like pretty inexpensively. So, <clears throat> six pack. So, it's a, the Sinclair would have three slots on each side. What do you think of our Fujiyama Blues 10K? Probably like 50K, right? Conan could put your th kids through college. So like 
every time I sell something, there's some like premium pins that go for premium prices. Like my Sailor 805 Ocean Swirl, I did not give a deal on that. Like that was full price, like all the money. Like, and it was the first one sold. It's just going to be that way. But some of it is uh, not for too long. Conan is coming back. Yeah. Is it? Are they really? Which I don't even, like, that doesn't phase me about selling it. Because I'll still sell it for a good price. Wow, that was a out of nowhere yawn. So when will you announce when you begin to sell your pins? Is it on Twitch or somewhere else? In my members newsletter. So Panatic members get the first crack. Because it's usually not that many. Like right now, I think I've got about 15 or 16 pulled. But I don't have them priced or photographed yet. Um, but like some of them are very expensive. And then some of them are like steals. So there you go. All right, let's pick a winner. Boiler Ride. Boiler Ride. The Pro Gear Purple Cosmos, you should be able to... Um, that one's a reasonably available one. Like, just keep your eyes peeled. You might see one sub pop up. Uh, Boiler Ride, you won. You won. Not first-time winner, or maybe first-time winner. I don't think first-time winner. That's that's TLDR, Alan. <laughs> Boiler ride. So email me, hello at pinac.com. Tell me you won the copper Paris Customs. Yeah, it's unpredictable on what creases, increases. That's exactly right. You never, first time winner, long time, wine or about not winner. Nice. Hey, zero wins club, one less member. Nice. Basically, soon you'll be able to order Conan's from Pen World. Gotcha. That sounds like a mess. Rune Car, thank you for the follow. Set that down with the rest of the corgis. <clears throat> yeah, that was a reasonably available at the time sailor. So, like, it's possible you'll be able to find one. I'm looking at the Leonardo MZ you decide to sell. I am selling one. I am selling word one. Should use my personal purple cosmo. Alright. So hopefully Looks like Liz is doing a subathon, so we're gonna go hang with Liz. The Burbs painter is one of my favorite streamers. I think y'all like hanging out with Liz. She just put on a cute burb hat. So let's go hang out. All right. Thanks, y'all, for hanging out today. I appreciate you. We'll be back next week doing a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. I'm, ex I'm selling lower price pins, too. So that's actually probably going to be a bigger number. I'm, I need to pull some more lower price pins. They just need to, to move out. All right. Y'all go say hey to Liz. Tell her she rules. Y'all be good. Hey, thank you, Neon Clear Pingin, for making it a cool place to hang. We appreciate you. Y'all have a good one. Oh my dingling. <laughs>